Test, test. Hey, so hello everyone and welcome to the One, Cha One Class channel. My name is Donna Riel and I'm a recent master's graduate in the material science program from the University of Ontario Institute of Technology, also known as Ontario Tech University. So I also took my bachelor's of science at this institution as well in pharmaceutical chemistry. So today we're going to go over some commonly asked questions in chemistry at the high school, college, and university level. So if you had any help with like homework or with tutoring, then check out the links in the description below. Uh, so now I'm just going to get started on our set of problems for today. Okay, so the first problem asks... Let me just bring this here. What is the formal charge on nitrogen and nitric oxide? Okay, so this is question number one. And the first thing I do for questions like this is I want to find out my total number of valence electrons. So for nitrogen, there are five valence electrons. And for oxygen, there are six. So we have a total of 11 valence electrons. Uh, so now I'm just going to draw out the diagram. So first I'm going to draw out a single bond from nitrogen to oxygen and each bond contains two electrons. So I just drew the one, but I'm actually going to draw a double bond as well, so that's four electrons in total. And then I'm just going to draw out my lone pairs. So for oxygen, there's four. So now I have eight electrons and I need three more to put in my diagram. And the last three go on the nitrogen. So when you calculate formal charge, the equation is as follows. It's going to be the number of valence electrons minus the number of electrons in the lone pair. So I put non-bonding electrons. All of this is in brackets, and you put half of how many electrons participating in the bond. And when you calculate formal charge, you want to do it for each individual atom. So let's do it for nitrogen first, since this is what the question asks for. So for nitrogen, formal charge is equal to the number of valence electrons. So in, our, in nitrogen's case, it's 5 uh, minus the number of non-bonding electrons. So in nitrogen case, this, there is 3 plus half of however many electrons are participating in this bond. So there's 4 in total. So I'm going to put uh, half times 4. And then you really just simplify it. You get 5 minus 5. So the formal charge on the nitrogen atom is 0. So the question doesn't ask for it, but let's just look at how you would answer it for oxygen, just to practice the number of its valence electrons was 6. It has 4 non-bonding electrons, so 2 of the lone pairs, plus half. It also has 4 participating uh, in the bonds, so it's going to be 6 minus 4 plus 2, which is 6 minus 6, which is also 0. Let's look at the answer from our junior tutor. 
Oxidation states are minus 2 for oxygen, plus 2 for nitrogen. Um, NO is in violation of the octet rule. And yeah, so then they put the three non-bonding electrons for nitrogen, total of 7. And then they said, neither atom has a formal charge, both are zero. Okay, so the answer was correct, but I'm just also going to uh, go more in depth about how they got the answer. So I'm going to have the formula for formal charge is Fc equal to... Okay, so I just wrote out um, pretty much what I did. For nitrogen, formal charge is equal to 5 minus 3 plus half of 4 equals 0. For oxygen, formal charge is equal to 6 minus 4 plus half of 4, which is also equal to 0. I'll still say answer is correct. For more info. Okay.